Well, good evening to you and uh, welcome on this most perfect evening for a game of football. Conditions are absolutely splendid and the folk of this town have come out in their droves for this match. Why wouldn't they? It is an ideal circumstance for what could be an ideal game. Everybody has been attracted to it. It has been the talk of the town and uh, the buses have been packed, double-decker buses lining up outside. Coaches have carried thousands of away supporters here too. And uh, all of it adds up to make a terrific and crackling atmosphere. The match, I think, will be quite a spectacle. Here's a venue this, which simply adds to the spectacle of the game in stages. One of the most impressive arenas in this part of the world. plenty looking forward to seeing this a capacity crowd here yes Peter it's a shame it's only a, a friendly but then again that may help us see a more expressive attacking contest and I'd be prepared to settle for a, a clash of, of lesser intensity in favor of of lots of flair skill and plenty of tricks and a few goals I suspect I've probably overstretched my my level of greed here if you did just miss it, we are up and running already. So, Jim, who would you identify as the key man in this fixture? Yeah, Christian Eriksen. He's super accurate with both feet, Peter, and able to deliver a cross or a through ball with just the perfect bend or, indeed, weight. All this allied to great awareness and vision, which make him a massive creative talent. What I really like about Ericsson, though, is that he's got the energy and the determination to keep going for 90 minutes every game. He's a trier. Well, quite no argument for me on that one. Neymar, and here's Ferrati. This is gone, that's uh, foul. Gets the ticking off and needs to be very careful now. He just needs to find the control button on his aggression before the ref does it for him, Peter. Paris Saint-Germain seeking to maximise the moment. Just to point out, Peter, that the fullbacks are quite high. And what do they try to achieve? Well, it's obviously a move to push um, the opposition wide men back and, and give them more to think about. To the keeper and go again. Hakimi. It's all a little short of forward momentum, lacking thrust. Neymar. Fabian Ruiz. Neymar just brushed off the ball there now the counter and he's on his way he's Rashford oh what a goal about as smooth as it gets oh it's lovely to see the art of disguise alive and well but the keeper straight into no man's land Manchester United the deadline. has a pop Bruno Fernandes, Rafael Baran, Diogo Dallo, and it's Rashford. Finds himself eased off the ball. It's got through to him. And the half-time whistle goes. So there you have it, a close sport half of football, but it still had its moments and ultimately produced just one goal. A more than decent game up to now. Not the most convincing of displays, they can certainly do much better than this. They want to keep things simple, build up their confidence and not rush into mistakes. And we're already back on the way here. Paris Saint-Germain need to get the balance right to sort this out. Ambition must be complemented by 
just the right amount of caution, and I think the more experienced players can oversee that. Well, the crowd clearly like what they just... Yeah, he's fouled him there. Marquinhos is being told in no uncertain terms that this will be his final warning. Yeah, and he has to change his ways, or this referee could soon change his status. Shaw. Ericsson. Bruno Fernandes. He's made sure that that won't get through. Casemiro. Down by a goal, needing to go up a gear. That's how it looks here. Marco Verratti. He's got through. Varane gets good distance on it. Now the cross. Towering header! <laughs> Goal! Terry Saint-Germain are back on level terms. A lovely header, but really it was all about the delivery. Oh, look, it's, it's often the timing of the jump that dictates what you can do with any header, and if you get it slightly wrong, then you'll struggle, but that was beautifully met, it really was. And that has added a whole new complexion to the game. Oh, look, Peter, I was on the fence before a ball was kicked, and uh, I still haven't moved. He's found his man. Got a sight of goal here. Well, Red, he sorted that out. Renato Sanchez brings it forward. Oh, what a ball! Messi and Messi! A real chance and a real let off. I think he still deserves full marks for making his way through. It was a, it was a crack and run. If we're going to get a winner, it's got to come now. Renato Sanchez tried to play it through. Yeah, the idea was right, the delivery wasn't. They can revisit that further on. Looks to clip. Oh, shooting chance! Manchester United merit full marks for their attitude and application in trying to win this. It means an awful lot, obviously. Face to face with tries a shot! Yes, he's done it! Late in the day, this could well be it! That really was a thing of beauty, curled in effortlessly. Well, the ball flight may be unpredictable, but the predictable part was the technique. It screamed goal all the way. Manchester United take the lead. Now it's just a question of holding on. Well, the last moments now, Peter, are going to be very frantic. There's still time for a, a twist or two yet. Forward it goes. Nicely measured pass. Now it's Cristiano Ronaldo. And the finish! It's a goal! Two to the good! They have breathing space! Manchester United are really pouncing on any stray passes in midfield. We're talking seconds from interception to the back of the net. It's counter-attacking heaven. When the manager called on him, he was only too happy to repay that for the instruct. And that will be the final act. Paris Saint-Germain beaten here. They might well feel aggrieved, but the result is everything. So, Jim, how do you reflect on what we've seen? It can be difficult.